Welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan. And uh, what I'll be doing today is actually replacing the oxygen sensor. And uh, you can see kind of a little picture of that there. And um, what I've got is a uh, P0420, a catalyst inefficiency code. And um, what I'm what I'm going to do is actually replace this sensor. And I've replaced the upstream sensor. This is actually the downstream sensor or the one that's actually mounted into the catalytic converter, which I'm going to show you uh, when we get underneath it here. Uh, I've replaced the catalytic converter uh, maybe uh, four or five years ago now. And uh, this code popped up um, not not too long ago. I, well, I say that. <laughs> uh, it's probably been a couple of years now that it's been on. And I've, I've known about it and just kind of been, I don't know, dragging my feet, we'll call it. But either way, I, I put in a new upstream sensor a couple of years ago. I had taken it to a, a neighbor who has a, um, a scan tool. And he said the upstream sensor was acting lazy. So I said, well, then maybe that's the problem, the upstream sensor. Uh, but uh, I don't I don't know. I mean, maybe that was the problem. Uh, the, the light stayed on and even after we cleared the codes. But uh, now I'm going to try a downstream sensor because I've got upstream sensor replaced, catalytic converter replaced, and now we're going to do the downstream sensor. So either way, let's get in here. That's enough yik yakking. And uh, let's get underneath of here and get this new sensor installed. Underneath of the vehicle here, this is the catalytic converter that comes off of the uh, exhaust, the exhaust manifold at the rear of the engine. So orientating yourself in the underneath the vehicle, I am directly in between the two front tires, and uh, you'll see you'll see this right here mounted. And uh, so what I've got here is this is a oxygen sensor socket and you can see it has this slit in it this is a 7 8 or 22 millimeter is what it says so i actually have a 22 millimeter wrench here and i want to just see if that fits it just so in case you guys don't have this socket or this you know this tool let's see if we can get it broken loose with this wrench and uh so what we're going to do is you know it's lefty loosey so this uh so i've got the wrench on here so what I'm going to do is, is push it away. So what I'm going to be doing is turning it, you know, out away. So lefty loosey facing the, the face of the, of the, the, the sensor. And these can be a real bear because they sit in there and get hot and cold and, and, uh, and they seize in there. In fact, the new ones come with, uh, and it sees. Ah, there we go. All right. Yeah, I just had to kind of get down on it there a little bit, but that that wrench did break it loose, so now I can turn it by hand. So let me get you in here. I'll show you where the connector is, the electrical connector for this uh, oxygen sensor. And if we follow this wire, you'll kind of see that it goes forward toward the engine bay. So that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna put you now. It's, it's right underneath of of all this this bracket right here. Hopefully you can see this, but right above here, there's the exhaust manifold for the rear of the engine. And uh, so right here on this little bracket above the rack uh, for the rack and pinion steering, there's a um, there's a connector. And if you wiggle the wires over here, you can kind of see that. Maybe you can see that. Hopefully you can. Uh, that connector wiggling. So that's telling me that's the connector for the oxygen sensor. So I'm going to see if I can get in here with my hands. You guys might not be able to see. There we go. So what I did is I pushed on the button from right here. And then I pulled the cable from the other side. Back over at the oxygen sensor here, I'm going to go ahead and unthread 
this from the catalytic converter. I'm not sure. This one's been in here since we've owned it. So I don't know if this was an aftermarket or uh, so you can see these butt splices in here. Somebody was in here fooling around. I just, I don't know. So I went back with the original equipment uh, replacement. So there's what the oxygen sensor looks like. Not too bad, I guess. I, don't, I really don't know what it should look like. But nonetheless, here's the new one. So it comes with this little protective cap. So we're going to pop that off and get this ready to go in here. So yeah, that had a that has a different end on it. Again, not sure. This is the exact. This is this is OEM replacement here. So I'm not sure what the other one uh, was. I'm gonna hold on to it in case something is drastically wrong with this new one. Here's the here's the wrench again. So we'll go back with this when we go to tighten everything up. I'm not going to go crazy tight with it, but I am going to tighten it up to where it feels like it's crushing that little washer that's in there. I got our connector here. We're going to feed it back forward of the vehicle here to plug into the connector that we unplugged the other one from. So here's our, our new connector. You can kind of see it wiggling around there. So what we're going to do is make sure that this little push button part that's facing the camera right now is facing this way toward the passenger side of the vehicle. That's how it's going to plug into the the other side of the connector. Just like that. I don't know if you heard that click, but now it's now it's connected. So once we have the the wire installed, there's a little plastic clip here that is melted and broken uh, doesn't look like we'll be able to put the wire back in there but yeah that's where it should have clipped in but that's okay we'll just leave it laying up here the old one lasted up there for years and didn't have any problem this new one has this nice silicone kind of protector sleeve on there so all right yeah that's in at least just to show you how to do that well, there you go. That was pretty easy. Uh, pretty straightforward. Nothing spectacular. This is an install video, so definitely not a diagnostics or troubleshooting or code clearing video or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to show you where it was located and uh, and how to do that. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, set them, you know, shoot them down below there in the comments. And be sure to check the description. I'm going to have some links to the products used in this. And uh, everything that you see, uh, we have purchased with... Uh, with with our own money so um, well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time